All right, you guys, so today I'm gonna to talk about how to build this design. Uh, and while I'm working on this, Example is currently uh, recording a tutorial on how to build this design right here. So you can look forward to seeing that on his channel. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, demonstrate the same way he is, uh, piece by piece, how this works. Now, um, with this design, as we stated in our last video, uh, this redstone dust technically makes this a 3x3x4 three by three by design due to the fact that uh, you would need a block underneath it. Now, sort of the idea behind this and, and the, the whole idea is that we, we sort of expect you to want to build this like in a wall somewhere. Uh, that's the best way to make this work because uh, if you put the, um, the thing in a wall, and I'm just sort of simulating stone by using this light blue stained clay, um, you would then, if you were to build this in a wall, you would have these areas closed off. Now, in having these areas closed off, you would also want to have that block here, because like I said, it would be in a wall. So uh, that would stop any chickens from being able to escape or glitch out or whatever. Uh, and it would also stop any drops from shooting out the side and not being collected. Um, so if you're going to, this is the design, uh, examples recording this tutorial right now, but this is the design I would suggest that you use because personally I would expect you would put this into a place in a wall, kind of a distance away from your base so you don't have to hear the chickens anyway. Um, but, uh, and, and this design, uh, if you're already not concerned about this extra block because you're not building this in the sky, this design is, uh, more efficient and uh, both in terms of resources and also in terms of um, not losing uh, the stuff that shoots out here. Um, so let's go ahead and build this uh, piece by piece, uh, layer it up. So the first thing you're going to have is uh, the chest here. Now this chest is going to be what collects the, um, the feathers, uh, the cooked chicken, and the eggs that come from when two chickens lay an egg at the same time. So let's go ahead and I wanna get the rest of the materials I'm gonna need. Uh, so I'm gonna grab hoppers um, and that should be most of what I need right now. I'm gonna need that as well. All right, so um, now let's go ahead and continue this design. So you're also gonna need to put, uh, this hopper is gonna need to go into here. Um, and then I'm just for the sake you know, of demonstration, I'm gonna replace this here uh, to show you that yes, this is in fact a three by three by four if you build it up in the sky. But if you're just gonna build it in a cave or something in the wall, uh, you don't have to worry about that. And then the redstone's gonna go here. Now you're gonna put hoppers going into this chest and then another hopper in the middle going into that hopper and then another hopper here going into that hopper. So as you can see, they go, if something falls in here, it's gonna go here to here to here to there. Now I'm also gonna put one facing into this one. And the reason we do this is because these openings here um, leave potential for the drops to shoot out. So by, by having this here, you can collect them so that they don't sit on top of the block you've got your clock on, or your, uh, rather, not not necessarily your clock, but the, the redstone that activates uh, your dispenser. So um, over here, I'm gonna go ahead and place uh, these blocks here just to keep with that design. And, and again, these would be basically like if you were to put this in a wall and this would be stone. So now this is this is technically the first two levels, like I said, if you put this up in the sky, but this is the first level. Now let's move over and start uh, showing it again from the second level. So if I, I'm just real quick, we're gonna have this here. Uh, we're gonna place that, that, and then we're gonna go into that chest, into that hopper, into that hopper, there, and there. So now we've got the same thing we had here. So now for the for the second level, this is what you're going to do. You're going to have this dispenser and it's going to be facing towards the center and you're going to put a cauldron here. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a hopper here facing into that dispenser with a, uh, actually we'll get to that next. We'll have the, the dispenser or the, the hopper facing into this dispenser and then you're going to have a comparator here. Oh, sorry, hold shift, right click to place. Uh, and then you're going to have a block, a solid block here to take the pulse from there. And then that's going to go into this redstone repeater. And now this is another difference between my design and examples design. Uh, he found it necessary in his original design here to put uh, a one extra tick delay onto the repeater here and here in order to time this out so that this would actually fire the eggs. Now I have found that in my design that is not necessary. Uh, and in fact, it is necessary that you do not have that delay there for this to work. So we're gonna put the repeater here with, with the original delay, not, not right clicking on it to adjust the delay at all. And then the block here, and what this is going to do is when an item goes in here, 
it's going to pulse through these blocks into this block. Now this is really important because what this does is when it powers this block, it also powers this redstone. And this redstone gets powered long enough to stop this hopper here from taking the, the double egg that would go into here. So um, if I was to, now this is another thing that's sort of important. If I place an item in here, it's not going to trigger the redstone. Now, and then that item is going to land right here. However, if I'm sitting up here and I drop an item in, then it actually operates and it just sent it through and probably landed yep, back in here uh, because it went it went in here and landed in the hopper underneath this, uh, this cauldron. So now I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild this uh, again over here and we will work on the third level. All right, so now we've got the second level recreated again and what we're gonna do here is, is the easiest part in my opinion. Uh, we're gonna put this cauldron here, this is very important, and then we're gonna just fill up the rest of these except for the center and that is where the lava goes. Um, all right, so that's how it's done and as I said, if you're gonna build this in a wall, which is something I highly suggest, you should put a block here, you know, it should make sure there's no air there, and here, and here. Now the way that this is going to operate, uh, the only place where you should even have potential to lose drops is right here, but I don't believe blocks actually, or I don't believe items actually shoot through here, so you should be fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop eggs in here real quick. Uh, I'm going to drop just one, and then I'm going to drop two after we check that to make sure you heard it fire there's nothing in here so now let's go ahead and drop two eggs in here and you heard it fire it actually uh, spawned a chicken and the extra egg landed right here so now there's one egg in here already so now I'm going to go ahead and drop a full stack in as soon as I can get back into this cauldron there we go um, so now I'm going to drop a stack of eggs in and one shot through and that that the one that shot through probably hit that other chicken and caused uh, him to take damage now uh, if we continue to wait we'll see here that this is filling up and because we had one in here already now we have 16. so that's how this design operates uh, it's very very efficient it's um, extremely easy to build and pretty resource uh, light so um, the only thing that's kind of difficult to get, in my opinion, is uh, the comparator, just simply because you need nether quartz, but uh, if you can make it to the nether, it's not that hard to get. Alright guys, well I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, you should definitely check out Examples uh, tutorial on his channel, um, and uh, I will see you next time. Take it easy. You know what, uh, I realized that I ended that without showing you the best way to get chickens into uh, this cauldron. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do exactly what Example did and just kind of demonstrate to you how you can do this. So we're going to take a dispenser and I'm just putting these here so I can place this correctly. Uh, you're going to want to place it right there. And I'm going to fill this up with chicken eggs. And then we are going to grab a lever so that we can rapid pulse this. Now this up here is just for demonstration so we can see the chickens. Um, and if you build this into a wall, like I suggest, uh, you should not have any problems with them glitching out. Oh, you know, I gotta let go of shift to do this. You know, let's do it this way. So there you go. Oh, and also earlier in the video, uh, I mentioned when, when it, one of the chickens was hit by the egg coming out of the dispenser, I mentioned that he was taking uh, damage from the egg. Uh, I misspoke there. Obviously, most of you guys probably already know this, but um, although they make the sound of, of taking damage, they actually don't take any like real damage. So you're not going to be killing your chickens by sending more eggs through uh, into, into this area. Um, all right, guys. Well, uh, that's basically it. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I, I highly, highly suggest you go and watch uh, examples videos on this. He, he's covered these things um, probably better than I could. And uh, you definitely want to go subscribe to him um, because he's got a lot of great ideas and brings a lot to the server. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, take it easy.